Hey, oh, hey everybody, um, where, where am I? What am I, oh, hey, there's a, there's a, quite a, quite a nice looking, uh, pony lady there. Um, I'm really digging the, uh, the hair, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm wondering what the crystal or, like, little stabby point thing around her neck is about. Uh, what kind of culture that means she's from. How did I, how did I get... How did I get involved in uh, critiquing these ladies? I don't know. Where, where am I? Did have I been kidnapped? Well, they they've got drinks. Ah, that's refreshing. Oh man, it's getting it's getting hot in that hair. Look at that hot pink. That is amazing. Well, anyway, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure, judging by the uh, the glinty amazing piece of jewelry that I bought, I didn't actually buy it. My friends did. But I told them what to buy. Um, judging from that, I'm guessing that this is my wife that's drawing this. Yeah, and I, I've been I've been captured here, and I've woken up from my uh, from my chloroform, which smells amazing. And now I get to watch this amazing work of art unfold before our very eyes. Uh, I'm a complete layman when it comes to art. Um, I could tell you a little bit about the history of art. You know, like you know cave paintings in Lascaux, France, and that, you know, people weren't bad at art in the Middle Ages. They just like to use representational images and symbols a lot more than we do now because, you know, thou shalt not make graven images or, you know, some, some, some angel will kick our ass or something. Yeah. Ooh, this is starting to look really good. I'm loving the vibrant colors and stuff. If I if I if I tilt my head slightly, I can see the finished piece, but I'm actually going to avoid looking at it for the most part. Um yeah, I was with her while she was um like making some decisions regarding this. I was like, "Yo, dog, the colors will really stand out if you have like earth tones behind her." So I was imagining her standing in like a canyon wall or something. Uh, like again like in a canyon where you could see the canyon wall and like a tiny glimmer of sky or something um that's not what she did i like what she did better she's the artist i'm the plebe um yeah i i but it got her thinking about it and that that that, that was good enough oh man we're gonna draw the horns now oh that's looking great it's looking great uh, I couldn't help myself. I snuck another peek. Guys, you're gonna be you're gonna be wowed and blown away. This is gonna look amazing when it's done. It's already starting to get there. Oh, but there's so much work involved. Here we go. So she uh primarily composes these kinds of pieces out of Copics. Definitely um into the traditional art as opposed to digital. Um I'm not going to tell you what color she's using because, you know, I, I'm a pleb. I'm sure she'll put them in, like, the description or something. Uh, yeah, that'd probably be the best thing to do. That's what I would do. Nah, nah I'd just forget, honestly. Like, you know, I, I've made some YouTube videos, but, man, I wasn't nearly as invested. Like, she, she really puts the effort into hers, and I appreciate that. Always asking for, like, feedback and whatnot, and, uh, and I'm here to give it to you, just like X. Oh, we get to see what happens with the... Okay, it's not a crystal. Definitely more of like a metallic piece. Reminds me of something a friend of ours was wearing recently. Oh man, what's going to happen now? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Ooh. Ooh. So I wonder what that that's made of. Is that like... Is that like just... Oh, we're refilling our markers. They went dead on us. Anyway, I wonder what the little thing that she's wearing around her neck is. I guess you'd call that a thong. Is that like leather or is it like a strip of material? Is it vinyl? Like, I don't know. It's really brightly colored, so it might be some kind of like vinyl or polyester. It'd be really interesting. And it looks to be the same color as her clothes. Um, so it really makes me wonder like what sort of civilization she's living in. Like, you know, what what kinds of outfits they um what kinds of material they make their outfits out of i'm also noticing that like one of, oh no no it just appeared that one of her eyes was done because of the strands of hair yeah no the eyes haven't been touched on yet oh those lips are looking great 
very very mysterious and foreign we're gonna color them rings those are obviously gold or really really shiny aluminium sorry I'm, I'm not British I shouldn't misrepresent that aluminum adding some 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 depth and definition of those eyes now we're thinking about it and they're gonna be like crazy amazing pink eyes I'm seeing how they turned out right now oh man you guys you guys are in for a treat all right all right check this out Zadly whoop yeah reddish hot pink damn irises though whoa everything got dark suddenly Oh yeah, this is a separate recording where she was doing the backgrounds and stuff. I'm not sure what changed, if anything changed. I think it's just a different time of day. Like, you know, it's nighttime right now. And the, the lamps are, you know, still good, but they're probably just not focused at the same. That's okay. Like, look, man, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, I'm really liking, I'm, I'm lo I love watching this because, like, it's a time lapse, but it's not like, you know, perfect stroke to stroke. So it's almost like I'm watching like a claymation like studio sort of like doing a time lapse because like I will see like three strokes and then just a flood of amazing color uh, appear out of nowhere and it's pretty spectacular. Man, you know, if I if I'm going to be if I'm going to find myself like, you know, chained to a chair with amazing beverages yeah okay beverages uh low carb you know you know how it goes being on a diet um if i'm gonna be chained to a chair drinking sweet beverages um and and watching this kind of stuff all day i kind of don't mind getting all chloroformed and stuff i say that i i actually suggested this <laughs> oh we getting some some colorless blender action going on here it's one of my favorite tools um, I know in Fruity Loops they have this thing called the Sound Goodizer, and nobody can exactly explain what it does for me because I've asked literally everybody who uses Fruity Loops, and, and nobody really has a, oh, sweet, we're done. What? What? Anyway, Colorless Blender, Sound Goodizer of Drawing. That's that's all I'm going to say. White gel pen. I, I, don't, I don't care that it's a white gel pen. It's a Sound Goodizer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Please watch our other videos. They're amazing. Oh, God.